Hey guys, welcome back to Zero to Random. Today we're gonna to revisit post-ups and I'm gonna make the decision on whether or not it was worth it for our situation and hopefully answer your questions on whether or not this product is right for you. So this is what the post-up is. It's basically one inch by two inch angle iron. It has a nine inch offset and it is 41 inches long. So the idea is you drive it into the ground, bolt it to the actual uh, fence posts and this should hold it up. Um, there are a couple other products. Uh, Simpson makes their strong ties. In order to get those, you have to buy two of them. Uh, it costs about $38, but they're not the same quality material. It's a, I believe it's a 12 gauge stamped steel. And the other problem with those that I have is it goes straight into the same hole the post is already in. So if you're putting those into a post hole where the post is rotted out and the dirt has started to wash away, it's not gonna have the same holding power as if you have something that's in a separate new hole offset from that post. So these are just a bit more expensive at $46 local. Now, the complaint I saw a lot is that if you need to ship them, they're $75 on Amazon. So I did some research and I calculated the cost to ship these. What you're paying for on Amazon is you're paying for the shipping. These are $46 in the Central Valley of California because they're actually made here. They are made in the USA, they're welded and formed here. However, if you ship them, they are not cheap. Um, shipping just to Porterville alone, which is a 45 minute drive from Visalia, would cost you $28. That's the cheapest form of shipping you could get on your, the US Postal Service. Now, if you're shipping to somewhere like Maine on the other side of the country, you're looking at $48 just for shipping. So you're paying about $29 extra on Amazon, but that is covering the shipping for anywhere you need to send it to in the country. Now, again, it's not gonna be worth it for everybody. It is more expensive than just replacing the post and using concrete. Uh, if you want to replace a post and just use concrete, you're looking at $22 with today's lumber prices. Uh, it is June of 2022. But it depends how much you value your time and whether or not the rest of the fence is worth doing that. Uh, in order to do that, you are going to have to take off the posts in that area. You're going to have to dig up the concrete in the original post. You're going to have to make sure the holes dug out well enough, mix the concrete, have something to hold it in place while the concrete sets. So in our situation, we just wanted to make sure this didn't fall down. Uh, we have probably another couple years till we wanna actually replace this fence because when we replace it, we wanna upgrade. So for us, this was kind of a no brainer just to get it held up and so it wouldn't fall down. Now, it's been about two years since I put the original video out. Um, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. I don't know what happened. I thought I had added in the subtitles for that one for the DIY. Apparently I missed that. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo that all today. I'm also gonna show you how well this is holding up two years later. So it's almost two years to the date since these were put in. And as you can see, this fence has not gone anywhere. Now I'm gonna come grab the camera and show you how rotted out the other post is so you can get an idea of how bad this was. So this is the post that was the worst. Uh, this has been overwatered for a number of years. The water actually drains into our property from neighbors' properties on all three sides because for some reason, ours is slightly lower than everybody else's properties. However, as you can see, even with it nearly rotted out, it is relatively stable and there's nothing that's automatically gonna take that down. So this is the section of fence we're gonna be working on today. We're gonna to install two post ups, uh, one on the four x four right here, one on that next four x four where the wood is leaning against it. It's not completely falling over, but it is still pretty far over. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that level. There we go. So. You can see the bubbles pretty far off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and get that straightened up and then we're gonna go ahead and install the post ups. So because I'm the only one here right now, we're gonna to have to find a way to pull the fence towards us without having a second person to actually do that. Last time I installed this, I had another person. Right now I don't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this screw, just any wood screw and the drill. 
Get this drilled into the top. And then we're gonna hook this tie down around that screw and wedge it over this piece of wood. Now, what's gonna happen is when we start putting weight against this wood, it's gonna pull the fence the way we need it to go. So, and it looks like even all the way out, the tie down is a little too loose to use that weight pin. So we're just going to do it a separate way. and hook the weight through on itself and see if this is enough weight to bring it in. So with that alone, it's actually almost all the way there, but I think we're gonna need a little bit more weight. So let me go grab that. Okay, so we've got another 10 pounder. We're gonna get this attached and that should be enough. All right. And that is pretty close to dead level. So let me bring the camera in and I can show you that. So that's the essential setup. Like I said, we've got the screw with the tie down against the lever wedged at the base. And in my case, it took 30 pounds to get that ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and reset the camera on the tripod and actually install the post up now. So once you get the fence lined up where you want it, go ahead and get the post up, remove the rubber that they have to protect the spike end of the post up and then line the post up on the fence. Make sure it is aligned with the four x four. And then you're gonna use the smaller hammer to get it started first. Once you've got it started, go ahead and move to a bigger hammer. And make sure you keep it lined up with the four by four while you drive it in. So the next step is gonna be to drill the pilot holes and then we're gonna get the lag bolts in. So as you probably saw in the video, unfortunately, because this bottom piece of wood was sticking out a little bit, it did push this out. So unfortunately, it's not gonna actually be perfect. Uh, it's a little leaning this way now. That said, this isn't something that I had to have exactly perfect. I just don't want this fence falling down at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that as is. Um, on the next one, I'll go ahead and account for that when I set it. But on this one, we're gonna go ahead and just get the bolts in. So what we used is we used a quarter inch drill bit for the 3 8 inch lag bolts. And then we're actually gonna use an impact to get those in because these aren't gonna be the easiest things to drive in. All right, so that's it for that. Like I said, unfortunately it did pull it a little past. However, it's not gonna fall down. Well, as you can see, unfortunately we had the same issue on the second one that we had on the first one. Um, I'm starting to realize that it's most likely going to be the dirt itself. The first time I installed these, I did it in the grass where it's watered twice a week. And I probably took 10 light hits with a 10 pound sledge and they were all the way down. As you can see in this video, I had to hammer 
them to death to get them in, in this dirt. Um, so again, this dirt hasn't seen water in six months. I would suggest watering the ground before you actually put these in. So that said, I'm still happy with the job they're doing. This fence is not gonna be coming down with these in here. Um, and again, when we actually fix the fence, we can pull them out and reuse them. So hopefully this helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave a comment below, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.